are here at Kusa Christian campus with a very special gentleman. Um, I'm gonna let this gentleman actually introduce himself at this time. I am Coach Peak. I am the new varsity girls head basketball coach. Now, Coach, uh, a lot of people know your son. Obviously, thousand point scorer, had a very successful career. So that's another year to go. Yes, sir. you transferred down here. How you Peak? Um, they also know you, you're a very successful businessman uh, from from Marshall County. Yes. But uh, tell us a little bit about your coaching career. How long have you been coaching, and what all you've done? Uh, overall coaching, about twelve years of AAU competitive travel basketball. Also, this is my fifth year of school basketball. Uh, two of those years was at Marshall Christian, where teams went to the Final Four both years and won state championship. Yeah, that's straight up legit there. And what was it that uh, led you to, to taking this Coosa job specifically? Uh, the um, opportunity came available. Coach Gates had approached me about it. Uh, the, the young lady seemed very eager to learn and just wanted to get better. When you first got your hands uh, on the job and you got to access the girls, what were your initial thoughts of when you seen them, you know, pretty much practice? Uh, very young, uh, very inexperienced, uh, but the good thing is they're very willing to learn. Probably one of the most coachable groups of kids I've ever had in my life. That, that, hey, in today's society with the, I call it the TikTok mindset, usually kids turn it off and on in seconds. It's yes, hard to get them. To be they are, uh, they're like a sponge. Anything you tell them, they soak it up. And they work hard, and if you're in here two hours, they want to be in here two and a half. And the beginning, we started out just going a couple of days a week. Uh, and I told Hayden, my son, when we got home that night, I said, you know, there's something special about this group. And he asked me why. And um, I said, well, you know, after the second practice, four or five of the girls came up to me, and they said, hey, coach, we want to practice more. How many days can we go? Mm. So that right there told me that we were, we're ready to learn. And we're no. going to be a lot better this year. Now, a lot of people may or may not know that follows high school sports. This group of girls is a little bit different, and I think we've seen that in, in softball and in volleyball. I went to regionals in volleyball, mm -hmm. and in softball is also in the playoffs. Uh, I mean, these girls are a little bit different, and what they're doing this at such a young age, I think the sky's the limit for these girls. It is. Our varsity team consists of 8th through 12th graders, uh, and we will have an 8th grader starting in the rotation, it looks like. Uh, so to compete at a varsity level, 8th, ninth, and 10th graders is going to be very tough. But like I said, we have a deep bench, and we're going to rotate a lot, and everybody will play, and they will play a lot at the style and the speed and pace we play at. Talk about that style you play, and from what I've seen watching you guys practice, it's pretty high tempo, it's very intense, but you have to have a lot of girls for the way you play. Yes, sir. And yes. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to play high tempo basketball. If you look at all the very successful uh girl varsity teams, they play high tempo, they're not scared to play man, they're not scared to press, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come out, win, lose, or tie, we're gonna come out, we're gonna fight hard as we can to the finish. Oh, and we're not gonna change anything. Uh, if we're getting beat, we're gonna stay in it, we're just gonna get better at it for the next game. I like it, man. No excuses approach is what that's I like best about it. That's it, if you beat us, you beat us. If we win, we win, and it's gonna be hard to beat us the second time. Um, going into these very, very important off season that we have right here, summertime, a lot of teams either going to get better or they're going to get worse in the summertime. Um, this is the utmost importance since this is your first summer with them. And the timing for the job is fantastic because you get to go through the trials and all that. What is your number one emphasis that you're looking to improve on from what you've seen? Over the next few weeks, I'm wanting to see our rotation. I want to really see what the girls can do for our stamina-wise. There again, the tempo we're going to play at, we've done a lot of conditioning. The girls was not used to, but there again, they have they want to condition. They want to get stronger. Uh, the girls have started working out, which is new for the girls here at CUSA. Uh, but the big thing over the next few weeks is I've booked some teams. The little people, so a few people said I was a little crazy for doing. Um, but I believe you have to play better teams to get better. And that's our goal is I want to play some 3A, 4A, 5A schools in the summer just to see where we compare to get ready for our season. The old saying is, if you're the best guy in the gym, you need to find a new gym. That's it. Because then you ain't going to get no better. That is it. You're going to play down. Yes, That's a good way to look at it. Um, what's some of the final thoughts you'd like to leave us with? I didn't want to hold you all day because you're in a practice now yes, and about to go lead another one. Yes, sir. Um, I just my, I want to change the mentality for the girls here. Um, like I said, watching my son play last year, uh, a lot of the people, you know, one of the girls came to hurry up and be able to. Mm -hmm. And that really, that really upset me because I believe you're an athlete, whether you're a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. um, like I told them the very first day of practice, I said, you're going to love me or hate me. 
because I'm going to coach you like an athlete. I'm not going to coach you like a boy or a girl. Mm. And so far, it's worked out very well. It's worked out very well. And like I said, every practice we leave the gym, I ask them every day, do you feel like you improved today? And every yes is yes, sir, every day. And that's what you're looking for. That's all you ask a little bit each day. Yes. And I'm going to be honest with you, Coach, since I started doing this, I physically watched them on two eyes. The girls' basketball scene in the state is at a, a, a nuclear level. It is. As far as it being is. hot and growing. It is. It, it, it is. it is not where it was when we were in school, brother. It's a different world. It now. is. I don't want it to be exciting for the fans to come watch and these girls to have something to look forward to every game. No doubt. Well, Coach, I'm going to let you get back at it. I appreciate you taking this time to uh, you know hang out with us. And uh, good luck. And actually, we'll be at the play date this Friday. Awesome. Okay. See you, we'll Coach. See you. Thank you.